In light of the recent uptick in murders of the divesters slash swirlers by their beloved slave master, I decided to throw my hat in the ring and have something to say about it here on YouTube like everyone else. The first thing I want to say is, black men, these murders aren't your responsibility or fault. You are not to blame. However, I know there is a percentage of black men out here who are invested in muling for black women no matter what. So if you want to take that on, absolutely go ahead and mule for them if you want to. You are not to blame for the entire divestment movement. That is a choice that they made. If a woman tells you that by words and actions that she doesn't want you, there's nothing you can do to change that. If a black woman says that she would rather have a legless white man that she has to be a nursemaid to, or some shiftless, lazy bum of a white dude that hasn't a pot to piss in over you, black man who has it together, there's nothing you can say about that at all. And why would you want to? Just let her go. She would have chose him anyway. No matter what, she would have chose him. These murders aren't going to stop the divesters from divesting or leaving you. So it's best to just let her go. Don't take that grief on. She's always going to choose that white man. She always have. If you studied or paid close attention to history, you would know this. The brutality of these murders shouldn't be any surprise either. That's also historical facts. The slave master has always done what he wants, when he wants, how he wants, and to whomever he wants throughout history. Another reason why you shouldn't take any responsibility for these divesters and their murders is because the black woman has always identified the most with white culture. And we know this to be true based on her appearance alone. Who does she try her best to look like? That white woman. And that's because deep down, that's who she wants to be. That is a fact, it cannot be disputed. So her choice to chase after her, the slave master has absolutely nothing to do with you. It's that deep-seated self-loathing she has inside of herself. It's a black hole that you will never be able to fill. Not all of the yes queens and uplift black woman and the black woman is God and protect black woman at all costs rhetoric will ever fill that empty space inside of her. Not by you. And why try to protect a woman who has made it clear that she doesn't want you anyway? Let her go. And if she gets killed by the slave master, then so be it. That's a choice she made. We are adults. And sometimes we bring our own grief upon ourselves by our own bad choices. Stop wasting your time ruminating and bitch moaning and complaining about women who have gotten themselves killed at the hands of the men they chose to be with. Get over it. <laughs>